Today's lesson is all about measuring capacity. So as our anchor for learning, we need to use the word bank to complete the sentences below. So in our word bank, we've got the words full, nearly full and empty. So we need to look at these images and decide which word best describes the image. So we can see that the glass is not completely full, but it is nearly full. It's not far from the top. The jug has got no liquid in at all, so that one is empty. And the bottle is full to the top with milk, so this one is full. So just a reminder of what capacity is then. It is how much liquid a container can hold. So here we've got three different examples of containers which each have a different capacity and we're being asked which container has the largest capacity and which has the smallest capacity. So we've got a swimming pool, a bath and a jug. So for the largest capacity we need to find the container that holds the most liquid and that is in this case the swimming pool. To find the smallest capacity, uh, the container with the smallest capacity, we need to look for the container that holds the least amount of liquid. So between the bath and the jug, that would be the jug. So here we've been told that four teacups of water fill the bowl up. So our unit of measurement are the teacups and the container we are filling up is the bowl. So because it takes four teacups of water to fill the bowl up, we know that the capacity, so the amount of water that the bowl holds, is four teacups. This time we're told that a full sauce bottle is emptied into this many egg cups. What is the capacity of the sauce bottle? So the bottle has filled up one, two, three, four, five, six egg cups. So that tells us that the sauce bottle holds six egg cups of sauce. This time, a full vase of water is emptied into this many glasses. What is the capacity of the vase? So we can see in the picture that we've been shown one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glasses. However, not all glasses have been filled with water from the vase. Only four glasses have been filled with water. So that tells us that the capacity of the vase is four glasses. Okay, these trowels of soil will fill the pot. The capacity of one pot is 10 trowels, true or false. So we know that these trowels in the picture fill the pot up. So we need to work out how many that is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we know that these ten trowels fill up the pot. So the capacity of the pot is ten trowels and therefore the statement is true. Okay, so the farmer says, how many cups of grain fill one tray? Looking at the picture, we can see that two cups of grain are equal to one tray. So the capacity of one tray is two cups. How many cups of grain would fill two trays? Well, if we know that two 
cups of grain fill one tray, we knew that two cups of grain will fill this other tray. And to work out the total, we need to do two add two, which we know equals four cups. So there are a couple of questions for you to practice there. And then you can move on to the white rose questions one to three for silver before moving on to the gold and platinum challenges.